Hello and welcome to day one of my 12 days of Vlogmas. Keep watching to see how I prepare my classroom for the holiday season and remember to subscribe to my channel. Alright, so this video is actually, um, it was actually recorded over a few days. I started um, putting my fireplace together on the last day of the semester before we went on Thanksgiving break. Um, I think that was like November 29th. So um, you'll see my hair change, my outfits change, um, and things like that. So I just wanted to make that disclaimer. I did not do all of this in a day. Um, my schedule is extremely busy and I don't have that kind of time. So um, anyways, I started off with white um, bulletin board paper and I just kind of eyeballed it as far as measurement. Um, I have 21 students, so I figured this would be wide enough and I could just two, do two layers of the stockings. Um, after that, I put the black um, rectangular paper so that I can make the fireplace right in the middle. And then I just cut out red um, construction paper squares for the bricks. And I just left a little space in between and kind of windowed them, if that makes sense. But you can see, you can see the process. And this took me probably an hour maybe an hour and a half to do it. I also work the after school program at my school so um, that's why you see some students um, coming in and out the camera helping me um, and talking to me. So um, but yeah this um, was the process of how I added the brick look to the wall. All right, so I finally bricked the whole wall and I just took brown construction paper and cut um, strips of brown for the border of the fireplace. And these were not perfect at all. All I did was, again, I eyeballed it because I don't have that kind of time to try to make it perfect and measure every single thing. So um, that is what I did. But after I put the border around the fireplace, I kind of, I really did freehand all of this. Um, I freehanded the wood, and after I cut around the wood, I put like a little swirl on the end of each part of the wood to kind of give it that like real effect. And then as far as the flames, I freehanded this as well. I layered the paper so I didn't have to do it over and over again. But that's pretty much it. Now this um, clip is of me in my classroom the day after Thanksgiving break. Um, I'm just setting up the tree that is going in my classroom. This tree actually has hella pieces. It's so many pieces and I'm used to the artificial trees that just have like three pieces, the base, the middle, and the top and you spread it out from there. But oh my goodness, this tree has like 20 pieces, 20, 25 different pieces to it, maybe even more. But um, once I put all the pieces on, I went ahead and I just kind of fluffed it out. But honestly, I did not want to put up a tree in my classroom because of space. We had to separate all the desks due to COVID. And it's bunched up by my desk. You'll see in a second how close I had to put it to my desk just for the sake of space. Um, so I didn't buy any new ornaments for it. So everything that's on it, they're old um, ornaments, old lights from two over two years ago, like right before um, COVID happened. And the bulbs are old and they're small. I got them from the, the Dollar Tree. Um, I got the bow from the Dollar Tree. And these lights were already in the school building when I got them two years ago. So um, you'll see like once I actually plug them in, some of the bulbs don't even turn on. But at this point, it is what it is. So, but yeah, this is another day after school. So that's why you kind of see me talking and looking, looking around, um, talking to the kids. So once I put the ribbon on, you'll be able to see what I was talking about as far as the lights being out if you look toward the bottom. 
But the cool thing about this tree is it has different settings. So um, I was just clicking the button to make it either blink or not blink. But that's pretty much how my tree turned out. And I had a very hard time finding stockings. My cousin went to Walmart and got these stockings for me. They were $1.98. The camera wouldn't focus on it, but they were $1.98. Very good quality. So if you are looking for cheap stockings, go to Walmart. So in this clip, you see me um, reading the vinyl that was already cut, and I'm so grateful that I didn't have to cut it on my Cricut again. Um, this is the vinyl that I was originally going to use um, for my students' Halloween bags, but the bags were like really cheap and they melted under the um, heat press. So I ended up saving the letters. Um, so that's what I'm weeding through now. Um, the font that I used when I welded the letters together on the Cricut Design Space, some of the A's didn't quite um, separate and you'll see that in a second. Um, I'm not really sure why um, why I did that, but it just looked really bad and I didn't feel like redoing it. So um, I just kept it as is, but they still turned out super cute. And this is what I was talking about with the A that didn't quite separate. You can see that the in the inner part of the A didn't quite cut. And I'm not sure why that font did that. And this is how they turned out, super cute, exactly as I wanted them, minus, of course, those A's that didn't cut correctly. So now um, it's December 3rd, as you can see on my board, and I don't know why I thought that this would work, but for some reason, I thought that I could string all of the stockings um, along the board by hot gluing them. This was a complete fail, and as you can see, I'm like super struggling. Um, the hot glue wouldn't dry fast enough and the weight of the stockings was just too much and this was only 12 stockings in there. So I started over and I said I'm just going to string them one at a time. So that's what I did and instead of hot gluing them at the top I ended up just stapling them to the very top of the whiteboard because it's a cork, um, a small piece of cork on there and that ended up working out perfectly. Thank you so much for watching day one of my 12 days of Vlogmas. I love how everything in my classroom turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you guys next time.